To mark Endometriosis Awareness Month, Baylor College of Medicine will host a special documentary screening of Below the Belt. That documentary will be followed by a panel discussion with experts. Health reporter Haley Hernandez here now to explain. Haley? So the documentary focuses on endometriosis and how an estimated one in nine women suffer from this painful disease. And yet, women are greatly underserved. They often don't get a diagnosis early. There's not enough specialists and an even larger lack of insurance coverage to help them heal. I spoke with one woman today who's on a mission to change that. It definitely derailed my career. Allison Landolt says she first felt symptoms at 13 years old. Like someone's pouring battery acid on my insides. But like many women with endometriosis, she wasn't diagnosed and didn't get the correct surgery until she was in crisis 14 years later. I had to have emergency surgery before my fallopian tubes ruptured. Um, so that was how I got diagnosed. It was sort of incidental. They told me, oh, you must have had an STD. You must have had pelvic inflammatory disease. Like basically this is your fault. She finally found out the truth after going to Dr. Xiao Ming Guan. He's such a leader among endo specialists. Some like Allison even lovingly call his patients the Guan gang. A lot of patients have surgery with other physicians. They say, oh, let's know endometriosis in your pelvic. Really? So they can to me, we see everywhere. Endometriosis is a complex disease where cells similar to the lining of the uterine are found elsewhere in the body, causing pain, inflammation, and organ dysfunction. People tend to think of it as like, oh, it's just a women's problem, and it really does a disservice to people suffering with endometriosis to just focus on you, it's just a gross period. Luckily, she's found a force of women who support her because they feel the same way, as documented in this film called Below the Belt, which will be screened Saturday with a group of women like her and doctors ready to help others get answers. We're going to have a psychiatrist, a basic science research, have physical therapy and a minimal invasive team. And to help them realize what effective treatment for this disease looks like. Now that film will be screened this Saturday, March 4th from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Cullen Auditorium at Baylor College of Medicine. That address is just one Baylor Plaza. Pretty easy to remember. Tickets still on sale, $15. Allison and Baylor doctors agree, though, the most valuable thing you gain from attending is support from other women. So guys, that's often really hard to come by with this condition. So I recommend anybody who has this, check it out.